A new technology developed here in the Bay Area could save thousands of patients from having unnecessary tests for heart disease. Normal breaths for now. Richard Wurtenson was a few strokes from the green when a strange feeling interrupted his round of golf. He knew he was uncomfortable, but the symptoms were vague. And I got a burning sensation across my chest. It was not a pain. Now, it could be gastrointestinal, it could be their lungs, or it could be a heart blockage. And my job is listening to them, trying to ferret out more selective symptoms that may pinpoint whether they have heart disease. Richard's cardiologist, Dr. Jeffrey Gardino, says the goal is to avoid rushing every patient into invasive tests like angiograms, which are highly effective at spotting heart blockages, but also carry side effects. It's a lot of radiation, 10 years worth of radiation you would get in the course of that procedure. Current options include pre-screening patients like Richard with a cardio stress test, often involving a treadmill. But now a Bay Area company believes it has an alternative. Here we have a alcohol pad, Band-Aid, Goss. The test was developed by Cardio DX. It involves a simple blood draw that can be done in a doctor's office. But what happens after that actually involves some extremely sophisticated science. Once the blood is drawn from the patient, we bring it into our lab, and it's a three-step process. The first CEO step David Levinson blood, says the first step involves automated machines that extract RNA from the blood cells, which is then used to synthesize a complete DNA sample. And the final step is we put it on the RT-PCR machine that measures the levels of the genes in our algorithms. With our tests, we can easily and quickly identify those patients where the chest pain is very unlikely to be caused by a blockage in the coronary artery. And he believes the blood test, coupled with other screening methods, could significantly reduce the false positives and unnecessary angiograms while getting patients who do need them a quicker diagnosis. Does someone need an invasive test or not? Or is this someone I can watch more closely over the next few months to years before having them committed to doing a test? In Richard's case, additional tests did eventually lead to an angiogram, which revealed a blockage. He eventually had a stent placed in his artery, allowing him to return to the golf course. It's a small nine hole course, but we really enjoy it. Now the test runs just under $1,200. It is now covered under Medicare, but private insurance still varies.